we're not going to be invited in a, an exchange with the speaker. Our demand of the speaker is follow up her instructions to the executive, namely to come and respond. And uh, it's not safe for us to engage into a sparring match with the speaker who's supposed to be a referee in this matter, as a neutral referee. And therefore, our expectation of the speaker is to demand of the executive to come and answer. Otherwise, um, any other matters beyond a response to these matters is peripheral. There's no amount of comparison or juxtaposition one can make of uh, is it the allowance that people get out of travel, per diem and what, with the lives of the people. Well, I'm afraid we are not going into that uh, digression because the matters for which we are making demands are extremely pertinent. In fact, they are not even partisan. We expect our presiding officer, the neutral arbiter in these matters, to be making demands from the other side as the, a neutral actor. Otherwise, um, our demands remain the same demands, and um, we shall wait at a time when it is... Um, ministers return. I want to again to restate our position as the opposition in parliament that we are not available. The, the, the days we gave the executive, once they expire, we shall one day return to the house to make another demand that they show us the, the burial grounds or the bodies of these um, missing Ugandans. At the moment, we are still demanding for an explanation, which they must produce without any hesitation, because they know where they are or where they buried them in case they are dead.